Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my vlog. Today is Tuesday and I don't know the date. Oh wait, it's April 3rd and I'm on my way to work. I just went to Starbucks, got my coffee, got my breakfast, and I'm ready to conquer the day. Although, when I got in my car this morning, it said maintenance required, so I wasn't sure how the day was gonna go, but then the light turned off and it all got fixed. So I am super excited to be vlogging today because I have so many fun things to share with you. Last weekend, we moved into our new house and we almost got the entire thing put together. All of the ceiling fans got put in, all the blinds, all the furniture, and I'm pretty sure I got like almost every box put away and organized. I think there's still a couple, but nothing super duper important that can't wait you know so that was super exciting um, what else oh I had a job interview yesterday so that's why today is not Monday because normally I vlog on Mondays but today's like my Monday so yesterday I had ooh, bump. yesterday I did have a job interview and it was at the school that I student taught at which is super exciting I don't remember if I shared that with you guys yet on a vlog I think I vlogged about it last week but then I never posted the vlog because I had so much to do this weekend I just did not have time to edit so I apologize for that but yes, I did have an, an, a job interview at the school that I student taught at, and I'm pretty sure I got the job. Yesterday, my friend Kayla messaged me and said, hey, have you heard from Josh, who the, is the principal? Have you heard from Josh yet? And I said, no. And she said, well, we did interview the other two people, and you should be hearing from him. And I said, oh, they were probably way better than me. And she said, uh, no. So I'm like 99.99% .99 sure that I got the job, which is super exciting, which means I'll be teaching third grade next year. And I've always wanted to teach third grade. I student taught in third grade. It's the same team that I worked with back in the day. So I'm gonna be working with the people that taught me how to be a teacher, which is really exciting. So, I won't be doing that though until the next school year, obviously. I'm staying up here in Prescott until the school year is over because I need to finish out my contract. And it's only six more weeks. Actually, I think it's about seven weeks total that I have left of school. So not a lot of time, but enough, you know. And so my husband and I are still gonna be doing the back and forth thing. He'll still be coming up on Mondays. I'll be going down on weekends which sucks, but we only have to do it six more times, which is like heaven if you think about it. So also, I'm wearing my basic t-shirt, t-shirt from Lipstick and Littles on Instagram. You guys, these t-shirts are amazing. Sorry, I have like a cloud over my face. Um, but the sun is out and it's really bright. I have ordered so many t-shirt t-shirts from so many different places. The teacher trends or trendy teachers website has good t-shirts um, but I, that's the only place that I've really found a good quality t-shirt. These t-shirts guys from Lipstick and Littles on Instagram are amazing. They fit super well. They're soft. I feel like they're like they feel like they're pre-washed. You know what I mean? They're not like crisp. They're soft and really comfortable and they fit really well. I think they're unisex so they fit men and women really well. So I got a small, I actually got this one in a medium, but I ordered two other t-shirts in a small and I think that they're gonna fit really nicely. So this one is just the basic teacher Starbucks themed t-shirt and I'm loving it guys. And I rolled through Starbucks this morning and the girl was like, I love your shirt. And I was like, oh yeah, I forgot I was wearing that. But I did also get the donut stress t-shirt and the may your strategies be with you t-shirt so I'm really excited to be wearing those I think I'm gonna wear one of those on Friday because my kids are taking the writing test and it'll be a nice little inspiration for them so I went to Starbucks this morning got my coffee got my breakfast because uh, there's no food at the house we need to go grocery shopping also I kind of need to share some kind of yucky news with you guys so my mom is going on a six week trip to Australia. She's leaving on Monday morning next week. Which means, go ahead person. Which means I am not gonna have any help on Mondays and Fridays. So we do have somebody lined up to watch Cash on Mondays and Tuesdays, or Mondays and Fridays when um, his daddy is at work. 
and they're like really close family friends, so he's gonna be totally fine. But I'm not gonna have any help like in the mornings or in the evenings on those days. And I am gonna be running the business because normally, if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I do own a small entertainment company, a small children's entertainment company. We dress up as fairy tale characters and do visits, birthday parties, things like that. Well, my mom is my booking manager. She does, that's her job. She does all of the party booking, so she takes all the phone calls, answers all the emails, things like that. And then I do the um, management of the employees, so I do all of the payroll and I do all of the costume um, trails and uh, manage all of that. So like the talent portion. So we're kind of like a partner team. But I'm going to be doing the bookings as well as managing the girls. So that's a kind of a, it's a big job because my mom's on the phone or answering emails all day long. So it's going to be kind of stressful. So I don't know if I'm going to be making very many videos or vlogs during the time that she's gone. If I do, great. If I don't, sorry. Um, but I am going to be doing Instagram stories. I've been doing that a lot more lately. I usually try to vlog like one day a week. And the only reason I don't vlog every day and then post like a weekly vlog is because my computer has like zero memory. And I literally have to have like 10 minutes worth of clips to be able to put a video up. So if I make too many clips, they won't all fit and then it won't upload. So we plan on getting a better laptop or a computer for me to do editing on and hopefully we'll be able to do that this summer so that I can actually put up like weekly vlogs and longer vlogs for you guys because I really would like to do that and I have lots of fun things that I do throughout the week that I want to show you but I just don't have the time or the space on my computer to do it. So I have been doing Instagram stories. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you need to be. It's apples and tiaras, and the letter N is in the middle. And I am gonna be doing a 5K giveaway. So before I deleted my old Instagram, I had about 5,000 followers, and I want to build my Instagram back up to that point. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure you go and do that now. Once I hit 5,000 followers, I I am gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm thinking maybe I will buy a shirt for you guys and or get you some Starbucks money and or get you some Statler pens or some flare pens. Something really cute and exciting for a teacher to get. And if you're not a teacher, you know, I could get, everyone loves markers. I mean, who doesn't love markers or pens, right? So let's get those, um, followers back up to 5,000 so that we can do that giveaway and then you guys will be able to see more of my weekly things that I'm up to. So that's fun and exciting. Hey guys, so I made it into my classroom and I wanted to share with you my lip color today. So I'm wearing Mold Wine by LipSense and it is beautiful like dark burgundy color and I don't care if it's not the season. I like dark colored um, lipsticks, I feel like they look the best on me because I don't have any lips. So if I try to wear light colored lipsticks, they just kind of make my face disappear. But I also wanted to share with you guys this thing that I bought. <laughs> I saw it on Instagram and I just had to have it. And it's a light up speech bubble and it is dry erase. How cool is that? And it's battery operated and I just unpacked it. So I'm really excited to use this. So now I need to work on my hand lettering. Also, I went to TJ Maxx yesterday and I found some cute little planning things. This is a my week thing. I thought maybe it would be a good idea. And then I got this cute little to-do list thing and it has like a pencil on it. Super cute. Also, my colleague turned me on to this thing. And I'll show you. So it's a essential oils bracelet. And I shared this with you guys yesterday on Instagram, but if you're not following me yet, um, here it is. So it's this little bracelet and on the inside, you can see that it opens. There's like a little foam pad in there and you soak that in any essential oil and then you put it in there. And then anytime you like wave your arm across your face, you can smell it. So I have peppermint in there just to kind of help me with my calmness and my headaches. And I just think, and it's really cute and it would like go with any of the bangles that you already wear. So I just 
have that. And then also last week I vlogged about this, but I didn't post that vlog, but I got a giant kerplunk from my class and they love it. It's like changing everything. So it looks like this and I basically have them pull a stick for anything I want them to do. If you can get from here to the classroom quietly, you can pull a stick. If you can do this, you can pull a stick. If you do that, you can pull a stick. So they're doing pretty good. So I'm checking in to see how yesterday went with the sub and it looks like it's all good. I don't have any like terrifying notes on my desk or anything like that. So I'm assuming it went well and I'm going to get prepped for the day and then I will catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So I wanted to jump on here really fast and just share with you guys that I did get an official job offer from the school that I student taught at and I'm really, really excited. Third grade has always been the dream grade level for me. Fourth grade was kind of just what I fell into and I'm just really, really thankful that I have this wonderful opportunity. On top of getting the job offer, I also got an offer to attend a conference with a couple of the people from the school and it's all going to be um, about AVID and it's coming in July. It's in Seattle and I'm really, really excited to go to that. I'm thinking I'm probably going to go. I'm still technically thinking about it, but I really think that I want to go to this because not only will it give me an insight on what AVID is all about, but it will also give me an opportunity to bond with some of the people from the school that I don't necessarily know as well as some of the others. So I'm really, really excited for that. Also, uh, Jennifer and I are planning to attend the Get Your Teach On conference in January. So if any of you are from Arizona or California or somewhere around Arizona, you should definitely plan on coming and joining us. Now, obviously, if you're not a third grade teacher, you'll be in a different grade level meeting or conference, but we could do a meetup and it would be super, super fun. Maybe I could pull the people from California, like Darren and... Um, Megan to and some of the other fun people from the neighboring states to come to Arizona to this wonderful conference. So start saving your money now. And um, yeah, so I think I'm going to end this week's vlog here and that way I don't ramble. And thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.